Hello, I want to welcome everybody back to my YouTube channel. It's under my name, Norman Lecoq. And Happy New Year. Happy 2021. God bless, we made it. Uh, this painting is almost finished. It's about 90% finished. I'm placing in some little light details on the rope and showing some highlights. Um, as you know, I love detail. I'm a stickler for details. And I'm about to start working on this side of the rope right here. This area right here. Um, the highlights. The sun is coming from this direction. And the highlights are going to be actually faced on the side of the rope. So this is what we're going to do. I use this stick here to help me control my strokes, you know, with the brush. Hope everyone had a safe New Year's. Went by quick. I'm pretty sure it'll be a whole lot better than 2020. Take your time, like I say, enjoy your work. And as you see, I'm going with the striations of the strand of the rope. You want everything to coincide with each other. If not, you're gonna be have, have your work looking off. What I mean by off, it would look as realistic. I'm going down with the strokes, like I said, with the contour, falling into the strands, and I'm just pulling the brush down. And at some point too, I sometimes actually rotate my brush when I'm pulling down. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just a preference I do from time to time. I want to thank all the subscribers and the supporters to my channel. Any questions, any concern, um, feel free to give me a call. My number is listed under my name, Norm Lecoq. And what I'm doing here, like I said, the striation of the strands in the rope, those are going to show. So much. Then you can come back with your brown burn umber or whatever you may be uh, using to enhance the depth. By placing them in, it's going to pull out the white and make it appear to be even standing out uh, different than the rest of the work. See how that just pull that out right there. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. Just little light strokes going downward. Just let the br brush pull itself down in your hand. This paint, this is a painting. Uh, I work in paintings, drawings, virtually you name it. Uh, I try to work in it to see whether or not I like it or not. Just see what type of effect I can get. Now, what I'm doing right here in this darker, darker area, I'm putting some little bristles, some little hairs where the rope then start to kind of unweave it. Coming back down again. 
with my strands. And remember the light source is coming in this direction toward the left. Actually coming toward the right, but it's reflecting toward the left of this here, which is actually the right. Getting confusing there, huh? Stay tuned at the end of this uh, small video. This is a short video. Uh, I have some information pertaining to uh, upcoming shows and some giveaways again. We had a good turnout uh, for the holidays, for Christmas. Three people won, had three prizes, three gifts. And it, if you don't participate, you can't win. So, the tickets were relatively inexpensive and they actually for one ticket you have to actually get three chances of actually winning got a better chance of winning one of one of these pictures in the lottery well they were happy that yeah, that what counts the same brush right now we clean it out and I'm going with some brown Van Dyke brown and I'm gonna just to show you this right here I'm gonna pick one of these here right in this section Mixing some of this brown with black to have more depth. Now, right in this section right here, see I'm just patting that in there. And in that striation right there where it has a big like clearance there, I want to enhance that. And by enhancing that, you can use a darker color to bring it out. I don't know if you can see that. This is the lighter side. This is will be the darker side. Again, any questions, any concern, give me a call. Hit the like button and also give me some comments on the work. Uh, give me some comments on what, what more you would like to see me paint or draw. If you have a passion with anything, uh, whether it be drawing or carpentry or anything else, do research on it. There's a lot of things out there on the internet, positive, that you can find to do better research on your projects. Again, they have good information out there. You just have to know where to go for it and look for it. And you may find exactly what you're looking for. If not, just go into someone else who can deliver the message that you're asking. Question.
this this painting uh, one of the reasons why I chose this one here I like the intricate details the, the winding of the ropes and all here and I use this this boy right here to show depth of feel um, I'm trying to lay out this painting to show some substance more or less to show a distance between this post, the bird, and how big this buoy is. Uh, in the ropes, striations in the water, the moss growing here. I don't know if you can see some of this here, my camera, the way I position. But all these interwoven ropes, and I'm showing each one with a kind of a, a depth of feel. You can kind of see which one is out further than the next, which one is further in the back, you're not gonna see that much detail, but you can still see the wrapping, the striation of the rope. And then which one is casting light, which one is casting shadows. Now, I'm gonna come back when it dries, dry a little more, and I'm gonna put more shadows in certain areas like this here, that this rope here is casting a shadow on this rope back here. But you can see in the back, the depth. In some areas, I gotta come back and make it just a little bit more darker, just to make that pull And the ones in the back. They're gonna be like distorted to a certain extent. For you to see that there are in the back. And once you start learning about distance and uh, placement of objects and how one can cast a shadow on the next, you begin to see a difference in your artwork. Now, coming from the bottom on up, those will be much darker. Why? The light is not shining as prevalent to the bottom as it is on top. Which makes some sense, right? And to tone that black down, what I use is brown. My neighbors are playing some soul music out there. By mid July or August, I will have another drawing for one of the more expensive uh, paintings that I have. So keep watching the channel and uh, I will definitely tell you when that will be. Around July, August in that point. with the exact dates. Um, I'm working on having a venue uh, somewhere preferably in Baton Rouge or New Orleans. And that, that also is in the working. And when I, hopefully this pandemic will, will cease to exist and everyone can get back to the, their nor normal daily lives that would be a great help for everybody
But you see, you can see now about how the black start to pull upwards. You know? And this side here will actually show 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 some show some color, more or less. And this side here again, in a rate on the light. There's always a balance with light and dark. Play here, like I said, some more little, little light strands breaking away, and some highlights. And it's good rule of thumb. You go back and check your work. Um, what you don't see today, you might see tomorrow. Believe it or not. It's kind of sort of how your eyes adjust. You're working on these paintings for a while and you get consumed in them and you just kind of might miss a few little things. So adjustment is always good. Just making little light strands. They don't have to be really defined. Just, just really light. Your eyes will pick up on it. The slightest of little details, your eyes can kind of pick up on the subtleness of the strands. Just follow your roadmaps. Uh, I continue to say roadmaps because uh, you don't know where you're going until you, you have a map to get there. This is a fun painting also. Most of my paintings are kind of fun. See how I'm showing that this part here? Well, emanate some more reflection than this part here down in the dark. And this side right here should have a little more highlights pertaining because it's on the right side of
fun painting, a lot of detail. See how it's beginning to take a little shape, better shape than what it looked looked like before. And this is white and a light um, brown, kind of a tan. I have mixed you with it. Naturally, some strands are going to pick up more light than the, than the other. And that's when I do the differentials with the, the more white. Like that one there and this one here. Again, if you have any questions or any problems or uh, want to talk about a project you're working on, and if I can give you somewhat some type of assistance, give me a call and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it, all the subscribers and the ones who continue to comment. I really appreciate everyone. So have a good new year, blessed, take care, and live long and prosperous. Have a good day. Bye-bye.